Welcome back. Brazil's economy faces numerous challenges. Inflation is one of the major ones. The government has taken steps to limit raising prices, but it really hasn't worked. As Paulo Cabral reports, officials are taking further steps that won't slow growth too much. Worldwide, oil prices may be down. But fuel prices went up in Brazil in January as the government increased taxes to balance its better accounts. It was not right to increase the price of fuel. We already pay too much in taxes and now we have to pay more for gas. It's not only fuel, there's much inflation. Our currency is losing value, so many prices go up. Electricity prices are also on the rise, with record drought depleting reservoirs for the country's hydroelectric plants. The severe drought is also impacting food production. The prices of some fruits and vegetables has already doubled. I feel there was a boom in inflation in January, and it seems it's getting even worse in February. My feeling is that my money buys only half of what it bought before. I had to cut back on food. My family is not eating as it did a few months ago. Year-on-year -year inflation in January in Brazil rose to 7.1 percent, up from 6.4 percent in December. In 2014, Brazil's inflation was 6.41 percent, right below the upper limit of the government's inflation target range, between 2.5 percent and 6.5 percent. But the latest market survey forecasts it will top the ceiling for 2015 overall, hitting 6.56 percent. Brazilian authorities have been struggling to contain inflation over the last couple of years, and they did manage to keep it right below the official inflation target. But the problem is that prices are still rising, and economists say the government is running out of options to contain them. In order to contain these pressures on the past, the government has resulted, resulted to artificially containing some prices, notably uh, energy prices, fuel prices, bus fares and the like. As a result, it has created huge imbalances in the sector, and now they've been forced to allow these prices to go up over a sort of problem. So at the end of the day, we have to rely on monetary policy. So the government will have to keep increasing interest rates as it has been doing since early 2013. The government has promised it will do whatever it takes to fight inflation, wishing the past has meant slowing down the economy through higher interest rates and spending cuts. Economists say it won't be easy or painless to strike the right balance. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.